the uh, Dictionary of British English Spelling. It's all about the complicated relationships between the pronunciation of English in the mouth of somebody like me and the, com the complex set of spelling choices or graphemes that we use to represent those sounds. And it is notoriously the case that uh, those relationships are more complicated in English than in possibly any other language and script in the world. So it needed a large volume and a long time to sort it all out and get it all into the, in between two covers. The first seed of the idea came to me slightly over 40 years ago um, when uh, I was doing an MA in Applied Linguistics and it uh, seemed to me this was a gap in the uh, linguistic and uh, language knowledge about English. Um, it, uh, uh, I then went and did a completely different topic for my PhD, came back to it later and somebody else uh, took on the idea and produced a book which wasn't quite the one that I thought was needed. Mm -hmm. And so when that came out I then got going on my own in uh, earnest. Um, and it's now appeared and it, um, the reason I didn't think the other book was uh, adequate was that it started in a very odd place, namely at what the author called juncture, in other words the way that spelling choices behave when you add suffixes to stem words, which is part of the system of course, but it's a very odd place to start. Um, and I didn't think that any of the other books in the field uh, provided quite the right amount or type of coverage that was needed. Um, there was only, I think, one previous book in the field that covered both the speech to so uh, sorry speech to symbol direction and the symbol to speech direction, um, and that was uh, a very scholarly tome with few implications for teaching. Some of which I have tried to. Uh, spell out, um, and, but I hope that the book as a whole will be of use to teachers, to devisers of uh, teaching materials and early reading books for children, and indeed to anybody who has um, more than a nerdish interest in the, um, the what I said, the, the grapheme, phoneme and phoneme correspondences of English. deserves to be as available as possible to as many people as might be interested in it, as uh, want to see it. The, the electronic versions are very competitively priced. Anybody can read it for free um, without being out, out, able to download it for free, um, but that seems to be a very good way of getting it known. Those who actually need the uh, physical copy for uh, you know, more precise reference can buy it as well, so it's as available as it's possible to be in all formats. I think teachers who take it seriously and look at the, in particular, at the helpful tables of um, uh, phoneme, grapheme and grapheme phoneme correspondences where, that are summarised right at the back of the book, will find their very precise and accurate guidance on um, what are the most frequent correspondences, those that occur in frequent words but, very, but are otherwise very rare, and therefore be able, I would hope, to uh, make their phonics teaching as accurate as it's possible to be. I know that, they, that there is insufficient knowledge of that around in the field, both among teachers and among teacher trainers, um, and I think they need to take it more seriously on board for that reason.